Okay, we're going to try to solve this circuit with node analysis, and I'm going to put ground here, and then I'm going to name the nodes V1, V2. Now look, this node is all the way here. V3, V4, and now, be careful, there is a V5 here. And now look, this V1 is done. Let me change colors here. And I already know the V1 equals 5 volts. And the other thing I know is the V5 and V4 make a super node. And I'm going to draw this around so that you see that this V5 is here with R5. So I know the V4 minus V5 Oh my gosh, I better learn how to write. Equals 4 volts. So these are my only two equations. And now, oopsie. And now I still need KCL for V2. I still need KCL for V3. And I still need KCL for V4 and V5. But first I'm going to draw which directions the currents go. So this one, I, oopsie, I R1 going to go that way. IR2 is going to go that way. Mm. IR1, I'm going to go, I'm going to put it up. IR6, sorry. I'm going to make going up to show you something. And then this one going this way. This one going this way. And this one. I3 going this way. So the currents here, I'm going to make um, I1, I2, I3, I4, I5, and I6. And now you see this one, really I1, I'm going to scratch it out here because I know it's 60 amps. And I'm going to do KCLs. KCL on V2, which is I1 plus 6 equals I2 plus I3. And now KCL on V3, which is I3 plus I5 equals to I4. And finally, is KCL on super node. which is I2 plus I6 equals I5. And now all that's left to do is do Ohm's Law. And I'm going to make that in blue there, Ohm's. And this is the piece that I see a couple people getting um, confused with. So. Please pay attention, pay attention here. I1 equals V1, which is 5 volts, minus V2. It would be divided by 1 because of this guy here, but really it's 1. I2, uh, where is I2? It's here. It's V2 minus V4 divided by half. So instead I'm going to say 2 times V2 minus V4 I3 is going to be V2 minus V3 times 4 because it's divided by one, qu one quarter of an ohm and now I4 equals 3 V3 so you see it's V3 divided by one-third. I5 is V5 minus V3 times 2. Finally, I6 is, watch, this is 0 minus V4. So it's minus V4 divided by 1 ohm, which is 1. So now we, we put together this 
the uh, three equations here as a function of the voltages. So really the matrix for the system for this that I would have to um, solve, maybe I can even leave V4 and V5 there, which is here. It's going to be V1, V2, oh, never mind, V2, V3, oh man, um, Let me write this here in red, so that you see where I am. This is equation A. Uh, this is equation B. Equation C. Equation D. These four equations is what I'm going to do. My matrix is absolutely not ready yet. I'm just going to go back and do B first. B those currents as a function of voltages. So it's 5 minus V2 plus 6 equals. Now look at I2 here. 2V2 two minus 2V4 two plus I3. 4V2 minus 4V3. OK. So I put all the uh, voltages on the left side. V2 is going to be minus 3 V2. Oh, no, it's going to be, this is wrong. Um, it's going to be minus V2. OK, I would like to use some color here. Minus V2, minus 2 V2 minus 4 V2, it's going to be minus 7 V2 plus 4 V3 plus 2 V4 equals minus 11 because this 5 and this 6 went to the other side. C, now I'm going to do I3 plus I5. I3 is 4 V2 minus 4 V3 equals Oh, not equals plus I5, which is 2V5 minus 2V3 equals I4, which is 3V3. Now I merge all V2s, 4V2. Now all V3s, minus 6, minus 3, minus 9V3 plus 0 V4 plus 2 V5 equals 0. Finally, D equation D, which is I2, 2 times V1, which is 5. Uh, is that V1? I2. Oh dear, I don't know why it's, oh no, it's 2v2, never mind. Okay. 2v2. Yeah, every time I try this, it changes color on me. Minus. Um. 2v4 plus i6 plus, oh man, minus v4 equals i5, which is 2v5 minus 2v3. And now 2v2 plus 2v3 minus 3v4 minus 2v5 equals 0. And so so these equations here, 1, 2, 3, and 4, really form the matrix, the system of equations that I'm going to enter into MATLAB to figure out the voltages, the nodal voltages, to figure out this, this problem. You don't need to solve a 4 
equation system, but you do need to get to the system by yourself for this class.